Well, hello na, a chroeso cynnes iawn i chi i gynhadledd Wanwyn, Plaid Cymru, Dwy Fil a Daedegyn. A very warm welcome to you to Plaid Cymru's Spring Conference 2021, another unorthodox conference in that there's no conference hall in sight, but a rather important conference as we head into May's Welsh general election and the enticing and exciting prospect of a Plaid Cymru government that will be able to transform Wales after more than two decades of a Labour-led government. We can begin a new chapter in our nation's history. Mae bod yma gartre yn ynys môn yn siarad mewn i gamran, hytrach nag yn anerch llond neuadd o gyd aelodau'r blaid, yn teimlo weld bron yn normal erbyn hyn ar ôl y flwyddyn dan ni wedi chael. O lea, dwi wedi mentro allan i'r ardd tro yma, efo harddwch ynys môn y tu ôl i fi, yn hytrach na bod yn sylli i mewn i gamra bach ar ynghyfrifiadur. Ydy, mae wedi bod yn flwyddyn fel yr un dan ni wedi gweld o'r blaen. I fi mae'r her ar fraint dros y flwyddyn ddwetha wedi bod ar ddwy lefel, yn cynrychioli pobl yn ismôn, yn cymunedau ni, yn busnesau ni, a threi o'i helpu'n hwn unrhyw ffordd allai i drwy'r misoedd anodd yma. Ac ar lefel genedlaethol, yn dal llywodraeth i gyfri, a threi o dylanwadu ora allai i ar yr ymateb i'r pandemig. Yn yr ardal yma, fel y chardal chi, mae yna boen a galar mawr wedi cael eu deimlo, ac mi hoffwn ni anfon cyd ymdeimlad yn gyntaf i bawb sy wedi profi colled dros y misoedd dwetha. Wthnos ar ôl wthnos, mae'r feirws yma wedi dangos mor greulon ydio. Ar yr un pryd, dwi hefyd eisiau dweud gair sy wedi cael ei ddweud gymaint o weithiau, a hynny'n gwbl ddi ffi ant dros y flwyddyn dwetha, sef diolch. Diolch i bawb sy wedi mynd y filltir ychwanegol na dro ar ôl tro ar ôl tro. Yn aml, yn wyneb risg i wyechyd a'i diogelwch i hynnau'n i ofalu am eryll. Mewn gwasanaethau iechyd a gofal yn arbennig, ond hefyd gymaint o weithwyr allweddol eryll. Gwirfoddolwyr diflino yn yn cymunedau ni a phawb sy wedi bod mor anhunanol drwy'r cyfnod yma. Each thank you has been heartfelt. But perhaps the biggest thanks we can give is to rebuild in a way that shows beyond doubt that lessons have been learnt from the experience of the past year. Years of neglect of public health, the unsustainability of health and care services, a lack of investment in infrastructure, yes, but more so in people left us unprepared. Thankfully, human spirits and a dogged determination to overcome the challenges thrown at them has seen heroic efforts to treat, to vaccinate, to cope and to care. But to all of you working above and beyond in health and care, many of you tired and exhausted from the past year, I promise to do all I can in government after May the 6th to show that Plaid Cymru has your back. Our ambitions to transform health and social care are ambitions that reflect the needs and aspirations of the workforce and patients alike. So we will create a genuinely seamless national health and care service. We will give care workers the respect they deserve, putting them on the same terms and conditions and pay scales as health workers. This has, after all, been a health and care effort over the past year. To address chronic workforce issues, we'll get started on training and recruiting a thousand additional doctors and 5,000 nurses and other health professionals, taking pressure off the current workforce and getting you quicker diagnosis and treatment. Plaid Cymru's record in leading the debate on a new medical school for the North is something I'm hugely proud of. We already now have medicine being taught at Bangor. A full medical school will follow, I'm sure of that and I look forward to delivering it in government. But it's about the whole wider health and care workforce too. Nurses, dentists, all those allied health professionals on whom we depend so much. As I said, strengthening and respecting the social care workforce will be a clear priority too, as will respecting those who need that care. Free social care at the point of need is a principle long aspired to, I plan to deliver on it. And for young people, 
with the National Network of Youth Welfare Hubs giving much needed support with mental health issues in particular, will show we're a caring nation for all ages. The last year has magnified problems that were already deeply felt within health and care. Waiting times, already too long, have grown to even more alarming levels. We'll work with clinical leaders to innovate in how we work through that backlog. The work ahead of us isn't about getting us back to where we were. The backlog, the thousands of cancer cases, unreported for example, means we have to build an NHS more robust than ever before, treating many more people in the months to come, becoming more sustainable for the years to come. New delivery plans for cancer and other conditions will be rolled out. End of life care will be given the status it needs. And perhaps the biggest transformation I want to lead is in making us a healthier nation with a focus like never before on the preventative. That's the real sustainability we strive for. Dan Llywodraeth Plaid Cymru mi fydd na sylw fel erioed o'r blaen i'r ataliol ar gadw pobl yn iachach yn hirach. Ac efallai bod hynny yn ffordd a feddwl am yr holl waith dyn ni eisiau wneud mewn llywodraeth. Yn rhy aml, mae ymdrechion llywodraeth wedi canolbwyntio gormod ar ymateb i ganlyniadau problemau dwys o fewn yn cymunedau. Yn hytrach, na chi eisiau mynd at wraidd y problemau hynny. Nid dim ond gwasanaeth iechyd a gofal mwy cynaliadwy da ni angen, ond Cymru fwy cynaliadwy ym mhob ffordd. Felly gadwch yn i fynd i'r afal go iawn ar tlodi, a tlodi plant yn arbennig, sy'n rhy aml yn amddifadu yn pobl ifanc ni o gyfleon. Gadwch yn i osod sylfaenu i economi Gymreig, sy'n rhannu llewyr chi bob rhan o Gymru. Gadwch yn i greu a chryfhau cysylltiadau trefnidiaeth a digidol i'n gwneud ni'n genedl sydd wedi i chi sylltu. Gwneud yn siŵr bod yn pobl ifanc ni'n gallu ffordio cael cartra o fewn i cymunedau. Dad wneud toriadau addysg i greu'r platform i lwyddiant cenedlaethau o blant Cymru. Ag wrth gwrs, gadwch chi ni fod yn wlad sydd o ddifri ynglyn â'n cyfrifol deba amgylcheddol. Dyna wir gynaledwyedd. Ac mae gan ynys môn rôl mor bwysig yw chwarae yn y dyfodol gwyrdd yna. Yn fan hyn fydd plaid Cymru'n sefydlu pencadlys yni Cymru i arwain datblygiadau yni gwyrdd yn genedlaethol. Y gwaith arbed yni, a'r cynhyrchu yni, efo llawer o'r gwaith arloesu yn digwydd ar ac yn y môr o'n cwmpas ni yn fan hyn. Neu mewn prosiecta hydrogen cyffroes yr ydw i a plaid Cymru wedi bod mor eithgar i'w hybu. Dwi'n gyffroes am y posibiliadau ni yn môn, ond dwi'n gyffroes am y dyfodol sy'n blaenau ni fel cenedl. Of course, the real sustainability we seek as a nation will truly come within our grasp when we take on the normal responsibilities of a normal independent nation. We can feel, can't we, the aspirations for our nation, long held in Plaid Cymru, that are now gaining traction like never before. In our young people, in marches, in a growing realization that there must be a better way. The confidence is growing that Wales really can build a new future. Not for the sake of it, not for ourselves, but because we need it for our children. A new Wales, building new partnerships across these islands and beyond. So as we look forward to May the 6th, to offering new leadership through a Plaid Cymru government, let's make this a vote for Wales. Dyma'n cyfle ni fel cenedl, mae yna gyfnod newydd ar ddechrau dan arweiniad Plaid Cymru. Dewch efo ni.